What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and today we're going to be going through the roadmap really quick for 2019 for the PlayStation. So I also have the Xbox roadmap pulled up here uh, just to compare a little bit of what we will be getting compared to the Xbox. That's what they've got and what they are still yet to get. And so yeah, let's just hop right into this. So We'll go to the new classes in just a second. We'll start with Awakenings. Obviously, that's kind of one of the big things, as well as absolute skills. Things the Xbox have that need to come to the PlayStation. I would guess that those will be some of the very first things that come to PlayStation in September. Probably those new region, the Valencia region, Node Wars, and Siege Wars. I would guess that those four things will come by... September and or end September early October all four of those things should probably have come out that would be my guess maybe Valencia will come out late October but that would surprise me so I would guess Awakening Absolute Skills Node War and Siege War those will all be out by end September that would be my guess and then Valencia would be early October to late October sometime in October I guess um, Valencia is where Rosar is, which I made the mistake of mentioning that in yesterday's Noobs Guide video, currently not out on PlayStation, but uh, it will be coming with Valencia. So those are the four main things. Um, the Absolute and Awakening skills are like pivotal, those need to come out, and uh, those are the four things that really aren't part of the Xbox update that we still have coming. Um, the Xbox obviously already has all of that. Um, I would expect Camus Sylvia to come in December, since this is 2019 roadmap, I would guess this is covering all the content up to December. I would guess Camus Sylvia will be one of the very final things to come out, um, though Adventure Log and Dark Rift are things that still need to come to the Xbox, so I'm not sure if Camus Sylvia might release end November, and then... Adventure Log and Dark Rift will release end of the year. That could be that could be potentially how they go with this. Um, because I'm still kind of shocked that Adventure Log and Dark Rift haven't come to Xbox yet. But it kind of it, it is what it is. I mean, uh, they still have time. We don't have a whole lot of stuff remaining to come on Xbox. Um, we've gotten Villas, Fairy Systems, Camus Sylvia. Uh, we're waiting on Raw Bombs, Enlightenment, Dragon, Dark Rift, Adventure Log, some new world bosses. Don't think... Did we get Tier 8 horses? I don't even remember. And we're lacing for five of the six new classes. So we get a peek at the nine new classes that are going to be coming to PlayStation, uh, all of which are ones that came to Xbox. Um... So what this tells us for Xbox players, at least, if any of you are watching it, this video, or if you play both consoles like I do, uh, we have Kunoichi and Tamer here, I believe. Kunoichi and Tamer, because it's Valkyrie, Tamer, Kunoichi, Mystic, which, which one is this? Uh, Meiwa, Meiwa. So yeah, yeah, so it's Kunoichi and Tamer, because it's Valkyrie... Tamer, Mystic, Meiwa, Kunoichi, Archer are the ones that, that they showcased on the Xbox One. So it looks like we will get Tamer and Konoichi before the end of the year, which, if I used my power of deduction, would mean those will be the next two that come to Xbox, Konoichi and Tamer, in whatever order they would come. On PlayStation, I expect them to release them relatively similar to the Xbox, so we'll probably get a cluster of four sometime September, October of Striker, Dark Knight, Lon, and Musa. Then we'll get uh, Shy, then we'll get Ninja, and then we'll get Archer, followed by whatever order they release Tamer and Konoichi in. Uh, obviously don't know exactly what order they're going to release those in, but... Um, yeah, that's the order I expect them to come in. Uh, they'll release a cluster of four and then singular releases of Shy, Ninja, and Archer. Unless 
they decide to release Shy and Ninja together. Shy and Ninja released really close together on Xbox, so I wouldn't be surprised if on PlayStation they release those together at the same time. Archer will come whenever Camisylvia comes, so if Camisylvia comes late, PS4 may get Tamer Kunoichi before Archer, because I know they want to release Archer with Camisylvia. That was their big thing on Xbox, is that they wanted Archer with Camisylvia. And so I would expect Archer to release with Camisylvia on PlayStation. So you may get Tamer and Konoichi before Archer. But I would probably expect them to go in the same order as Xbox. Finally, the last thing to talk about is world bosses. I would, I would expect Kazarka to be the very first world boss into the game. I don't remember how many we got off the rip on Xbox, but I would expect the most important one, Kazarka, the one that everybody wants to farm at the beginning, to be the one that is dropped first. I don't remember if... We, I think we got three world bosses to start with, but I don't remember which three they were. It, I think it was Kazarka, Karanda, Kudum? Was that... I know it was Kazark. I think it was Kazarka, Karanda, and Kudum. Or was it Nover? Was it Kazarka? It doesn't matter. You're going to get Kazarka, obviously, first. Maybe more. Uh, well, you're going to get more, but I mean, the initial drop is probably going to be Kazarka and some other ones. One to two other ones. They like to release them in groups of three, usually two to three. Uh, so that's going to do it for the 2019 roadmap. I know kind of random all over the place but the main thing are the classes we know awake we already knew awakening absolute skills node war valencia we already knew that like this stuff was coming and we really knew already knew that world bosses were coming so five of these don't really surprise me because these five things should come pretty quickly uh if they take too long i would be shocked but they should be coming fairly quickly uh, Avenger Log and Dark Rift, we don't even have those on Xbox, so I'm not sure when to expect those. The Camisylvia, obviously, we just got that on Xbox, so it'll be interesting to see when they drop that on PlayStation. You need, like, to be level 59 with some pretty solid gear, so I'm not quite sure what the heck they're gonna do in terms of Camisylvia. I really don't know, because you're gonna have to allow people to get to 59 which that's kind of the easier part the gear is the harder harder part gearing up so i don't know how they're gonna do that they're gonna have to give people time because they gave us on xbox like six months and not six like five months and i wasn't even ready uh so not sure how they're going to do that and then the order of the classes should be pretty much set in stone but uh we'll see how that goes one final thing i wanted to talk about is i'm going to be picking this up i have 11 days to pick this up I'm going to pick up this Explorers package. It's the PC version of Black Desert. I'm not going to be switching to PC. Xbox is still going to be my main. Even though I like the PlayStation, I like the Xbox better. It's farther progressed. I have a Sorceress that I love on there. I will obviously continue to play PlayStation, um, but... I want to try the PC version. I mean, people keep asking me if I've played the PC version. No, I have not. And so for 25 bucks for this Explorers pack, I decided it was probably time to pick it up. So sometime in the next 11 days, probably wait until the last minute, I will download this and give it a go. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it video-wise. I need to work a little bit more with setting up my screen recording, but this worked all right. Um... I think so yeah let me know what you guys think uh let me know uh anything you think about the roadmap anything you were sad to not see here i'm kind of disappointed that tamer and konoichi are first i really would have liked mystic to be first so people can stop asking about mystic because people really want mystic so i wish they would just release mystic uh, because it's like the most requested character i swear it's, it's gotten out of hand. Mystic is... This Mystic has gotten crazy. People want Mystic so bad. I want Valkyrie and Mewa. Those are the two that I want the most. Uh, Tamer looks fun, but Valkyrie and Mewa are the two characters that I personally want to try. Uh, and so I was kind of... <laughs> it's the two characters that I was least interested in. But I do have some interest in Konoichi. I liked how the ninja played. So I want to see how her the alternate to the ninja plays. 
and I'm hoping it's a little bit more to my liking. I like Ninja, but I didn't love Ninja, and I'm also hoping Mewa, who is the counterpart to Musa, I also liked Musa when I played, but I didn't love Musa, so it's kind of one of those things. Maybe their counterparts will have skills that I like, because I like Ranger right now, but I love the Archer with the bow. I'm more prepared for the Ranger with her sword uh, than I am for, you know, my love for Archer, I guess is what I'm saying. But yeah, I'm going to stop blabbling on like I always do in these videos. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. This will be replacing the Ranger video for the day, not the Noobs Guide. You guys love the Noobs Guide, so I got to make sure that goes out every single day for you guys. So yeah, catch you guys later. You can't see me salute you like normal, but peace out. This when it's all over.